What's going on, everyone? It's been one hour since this trailer's been uploaded. I've just seen it now. The Guilty Gear Strive Season Pass 1, playable character number 4. So, you know, we had Gold Lewis, Happy Chaos, and we also had Jacko. Now we have another character that we're going to have a look at. The trailer got announced an hour ago. So, yeah, I'm just going to have a look at it and see what's going on. And there's also, they showed the combo maker as well. So we're going to have a look at all three trailers that have been surfacing the internet. Let's have a look. All right, cool. Let's get into it. What's going on there? Eh? Hey, they got it like a martial arts movie. What? Like a, you know them old school samurai movies? <laughs> what? And it, it just goes into colour. What? Let me get it on some 1080p, bro. Sorry, man. Ooh. Whoa, hold on. Number one, she's a bit busty in the chest section. Number two, bro, that that artwork there, just of everything, just, bro, she looks badass. All right, let's go. She looks sick. Don't fail to end. There's no winning or losing, just knowing yourself. What? No one can give up on you. you. Oh, she's English, English spoken. Whoa! I like that, because they're both samurais. Sick. Well, what is that thing where she keeps them together? That's sick. Pardon. What is that? Is that like a parry? Oh, she got a, she got a gun. January the thirty first, so she's available on the twenty eighth of January for season pass holders. Oh, when you get a, get a new stage, that stage looks pretty nice. Whoa! Even just look at that. Look at that. Jeez. So we're going to get another character and another story. Where does Asuka come in? What, what, Asuka's not going to be a playable character? Come on, man. Come on. Crazy. All right. So let me see the other. Let me see the other trailer for her as well. Because this is looking good. All right. So we've got a bit of a beginner guide. So let's, let me show you the beginner guide. Bike in boasts an arsenal of useful special moves. Control the field from mid range with her specials. She looks pretty cool. Overwhelm the opponent with her powerful mix up at close range. So this is some, so she's a samurai Bike with one arm. Foot to the ground, flipping over a tatami mat. The grounded version has a hitbox during the stomp and launches the opponent on hit. In the air version, the tatami mat appears as a projectile. As the tatami mat will not disappear until it touches the ground, it is a good <laughs> that that scream sounds annoying. To prevent their approach. Kabadi. What that shout says it. This attack draws the Kabari. opponent in towards Baiken. Its excellent range makes it a good poke from mid range. This stage looks this beautiful though. Look at the stage. The opponent to Baiken on block or hit. Oh, she's got to get over here, Scorpion. The characters will be drawn yeah. together. What? The force drawing them together grows more powerful the farther they are apart. Really? The attachment oh, so it makes you... See, so are these... The combos are going to be sick with her. A successful ground throw also attaches the opponent to Baiken. So, okay. Pressing heavy slash again after the claw extends during the heavy slash version performs a follow-up attack. Oh, okay. Holding down heavy slash allows you to delay the timing of the attack. Baiken can pass through the opponent during this move. Bruh. So she got different variations of it. Baiken slashes the area around her with this overhead attack. Its fast startup <laughs> makes it easy to use in mid-air combos. And it combos! It can also mix up a crouch-blocking opponent when used immediately after jumping. Oh, so it hits crouching opponents. 
a counterattack that reacts to an attack from the opponent. Bicam can counter an attack once this move is out. Look at the she damage. She a highly damaging attack after countering an attack at close range. What? She can repel the opponent's attack after countering from a distance. Use this move with caution, as it cannot counter throws or projectiles, oh. and leaves bike and vulnerable on whiff. Surane Sanzu Watashi. Baiken moves forward while unleashing three powerful slashes. Its fast startup and invincibility as it Jeez. comes out makes it a good choice for combos, as well as way invisibility to as well. the opponent's strings. Mm. Kenju. Baiken yeah. launches a massive firework shell as a powerful projectile. <laughs> oh my goodness. The firework shell will explode either on block, hit, or after traveling a certain distance. This attack works well as a poke from far range or as a finisher in a combo. That's the mad air version changes show. the projectile's trajectory to a downward diagonal direction. Damn. Look for an opportunity to get in while using far standing slash. She looks good in neutral and in the corner. She looks like she'll be all right. She looks good. Well as pokes from outside the range of her standing normals. I could just drag you back in. Look Once at that. Team, you can use her sweep. A two hit low attack and Yo Zansen, an overhead for powerful mix up. Nice. Shut down the opponent's offensive attempts using Hiragi. She shows you a mix up. She, 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 she doesn't look like rushed up. She looks like she's got good mix ups, though. The slash version of Kabaddi makes it easier to maintain close range, as well as granting access to powerful strings and combos. Thank you for watching. Damn. All right, let's see the combo maker trailer. Like, imagine, they actually have a combo maker trailer. Like, you could actually make combos and post them out. I actually, I'm surprised. So it says you could create your register com combos and set play. Try making your own original videos. So you could, so imagine you're in practice mode, you could just set up your own. Oh, they're going to show us how it goes. So what do you, where does it go? Share your combo recipes with players around the, all around the world, from challenging combos to flashy ones, uh, or even a practical set play. So you could upload and save it, but is there like a hub where you could watch those uh, combos? Download combos and set play. So you could download combos and set play as well. Search. Oh my, download combos and set play made by players across the globe. Oh my gosh. What? Hey, that's sick. That is a that's such a innovative idea. I was always wondering why people don't do that or developers do that for their games, because you could just like everyone. It's kind of like a YouTube thing, and everyone does it on YouTube. So I was wondering where, when they were gonna do it on, you know, when were they actually gonna just take the time to just do it here? Ooh, nice. You could change. You could change to another combo recipe while attempting a combo. Play sample. Check out the demonstration when you're stuck. Jeez. Yeah, this is so. That's so tight. That's nice. This is it. You know, Guilty Gear is always coming with something fresh. I, I, I like this game. I like this game. So there's the, like different versions. So like, I didn't see the version before. Let me see the version before. Main game, season pass by digital soundtrack, digital digital artworks, ultimate edition, special colors, dynamic custom theme. This is exclusive to PS4 ultimate edition. Uh, you need to do one for PS5, man. We, we, we got PS5s over here. But you know what I want to say? Is this character Biken looks really fun, but I feel like she's gonna be a very hard to use character. But if you lot haven't seen my Teach Me series, make sure you look, watch the Teach Me series for the Guilty Guest Drive, where I get the pro players to teach me how to use their character. We also have a few more guides coming out soon, but we're definitely gonna get one for Biken as well. So make sure you lot watch out for that. The combo maker seems very good, so I want to see how people use it on Twitch streams and stuff like that as well. And other than that, make sure you lot subscribe for more video content. If you want, want more Guilty Gear Strive or even want to see me play Guilty Gear Strive, 
leave a comment in the comment section down below. I do play Potemkin, but I, I, I might choose another character as well. We'll see. Maybe Gold Lewis. Who knows? Other than that, take it easy. Thank you very much.